Hello YouTube! Today we're here to have a look at the 8-core 64-bit wonder, otherwise known as the Mac Pro. Um, in my eyes, the only perfect machine on the market. The reason I say that, uh, it can hold RAM more RAM than anyone would ever need. It can have up to four video cards powering eight 30-inch displays, again more than anyone would ever need. It can hold four terabytes of data. Um, and pff, it has eight cores. That says it all right there. So we're going to start out by having a look at the outside of this machine. If you look at the front, here we have two disk drive slots. It comes standard with one, but you can have a second one put in if you want. Down here, there are two USB ports, one FireWire 400 and one FireWire 800, and the power button and a headphone jack. And uh, so that's it for the front of this machine. And in the back of it, um, we have three more USB ports, another FireWire 400, and another FireWire 800, and two Ethernet ports. And now we're going to take a look at the inside of the machine, which is very easy to do just by lifting that latch right there. So let's just do that really fast. Okay, one second. Okay, so here's the inside of the machine. Um, there are the four hard drive slots. Uh, so, all together, uh, four terabytes of hard drive space. I don't have that in this machine. I just have the standard 320 gig, but you can hold up to that much if you wanted to. Or, if you get the RAID card, you can have four 300 gigabyte, 10, or no, 15,000 RPM. SAS drives. So, yeah, this machine just blows all others away on the market in the way of speed, in my opinion. Uh, right here, I just have the standard video card option, the uh, ATI card with uh, 256 megabytes of VRAM, um, and there are the slots to put the three others if you want. And down here, we have the two RAM slots. And uh, there are eight of them, all to, well, there are eight slots on the RAM cards here. And uh, they can each hold four gigabyte modules, all together totaling 32. Um, so, yeah. Let's take a look at what this machine can do. Uh, I don't have any programs loaded on at the moment, other than Photoshop, but uh, I think you're still going to be impressed. Okay. Hello YouTube, welcome back. Uh, so yeah, let's have a look at what this machine can do. Um, so yeah, let's open up a couple applications. Address book, that was fast, automator, calculator, chess, whoop, crystal maker, come on, whoa, um, dictionary, DVD player, expose, Already got ITV open, Firefox, uh, Font Book, Garage Band, iCal, or er, iCal, <laughs> sorry, iDVD, iMovie, iPhoto. Damn, I can't keep up with it. Um, I show you. Go away. Uh, where were we? iSync, iTunes, iWeb. Photo both, um, preview, QuickTime, Safari, stickies, system preferences, text edit, uh, let's go into utilities, uh, grapher, grab, disk utility, network utility, migration assistant, terminal, voiceover utility, system profiler. Oh wow, how many apps do we have open people? Um, yeah, enough. And now we're going to have a look at iStat Pro. Or just iStat, or is it called iStat Pro? I don't know. Whatever. And let's see how much of the CPU is being used. Uh, can you see that? Only 5%. Now we're going to open up Photoshop. That takes a little bit more. 
let's see. Okay, that's another 10% of the CPU. So, roughly, we have about, I would say, 30, 32 apps open, and only 20% of the CPU uh, is being used. And we have about, we have most of the RAM being used, too. But I only have 2 gigs installed right now. So, there you go. Um, that doesn't impress you. I mean, you saw how fast those applications were opening. It was like, no time at all. And, uh, you can just flip through these like no tomorrow. You, no lag time, no pinwheel of death. None of that. Uh, that's an update. Very easy. Dashboard. There you go. That's it, people. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, amazing machine. Goodbye.